Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. We will carry on right where we left off last time. Hmm. Just a minute. Fix the problem with the coolant temperature. That is not the only problem. Right, that one now is absolutely fine. That one over that side is absolutely fine. So that's not the only issue that we've got. There is another problem with the coolant here somewhere. And that means we got to get into the engine, I think, in order to be able to find it. So we'll go to there and we'll take this cover off. I honestly thought that would be it. I thought it would be really quick and easy like that. Uh, I need to go around to this side and take that one off as well. Like that. So it's... Well, well I'm so, so far I'm working just on this side. And we'll, we'll stick with that. We'll work on this side and then we'll go around the other side and we'll have a look over there. After we've had a look at this. Bring that up. Like that. Right then. Uh, three. So... Coolant over here. We want to have a look at that coolant tank, don't we? So we've got... You are pristine. Coolant outlet pipe. So what does that go to? That goes to there. We've got the cylinder head. Hydraulic pump. Um, coolant coming out. So what else are we likely to have that is going to affect the coolant? got to be a pump of some kind, isn't it? It's not that. I thought there would be, like, some kind of pump on here. Go up this way a minute. And... Right, that's the hydraulic pump over there. That's the, the fuel. Um... Looking around here, I've got a hydraulic pump. i got a... Charger in there. Wheel pristine generator. Let's come over to this side. Wheel control. Engine starter. It's not really going to be the engine starter, is it? All of that lot seems fine, right? The, the, the tank over there, that seems all right. And then induction manifold also seems fine. We've got the wires and everything. Okay, so we'll leave those. And we'll go back on to this one over here. Back on. We'll go on to this one over here. And I'll do the same on this one. I'll take all of these covers off. So that we can have a look in the top. Right, there's that one out. And then that one over this side. Take those off of there. And then the port engine cowling like that. There we go. And then the top cowling over this side. What does that do? If that does anything or not. Um, right, so now we've got this next bit. So we've got a coolant outlet pipe there. I've got that one. I've got tanks in pristine condition. Covers. Oh, wait a minute. Induction pipe. What's that? No. Cylinder head, hydraulic pump, the uh, camshaft. Oh, wait a minute, what's that? Right coolant camshaft drive, a pregnition wire, coolant outlet pipe. Oh, that's up at the top. Right, and then cylinder block. Wheel case, exhaust, the manifold, front plate. Is there anything else up under here? I don't think there is. Like you got the reduction gear cover there that I'm kind of looking at. And I go into here. There's nothing under here. We've just got the coolant tank. You've got the, the pitch governor there. And then, oh wait, ah, hydraulic pump. Down here. That's the other bit. It's the hydraulic pump. There's nothing else on here. Right, so I need to get to you. 
Which means... Probably going to want that one, aren't I? Okay. That means we've got to go and put all the other covers back on in a minute. That won't take very long. And drop all of these. There. So we want not the supercharger. Hydraulic pump. That's the one that I want. There. Look at that. It's in rather poor condition under there. Right. So if I've got that one, I... Ooh, wait a minute. Where's my table? There it is. I reckon I can repair this one. Let's go to there. Hydraulic pump. I can repair that one. I can go... There's a repair spot. Like that. And there. One onto there. And then one there. Right. Part fully restored. Now we go back over this way. We've got that one item to put back onto there, like that. Do those up. Task completed. Fix the problem with the coolant. So it was just... A, it was a very simple one, but it was on two different engines. So I didn't actually need to take all the covers off the other. But there's no way of knowing that until you've actually done it. That's the problem. There's no actual way of knowing until we've taken all the covers off. And that's another fairly time-consuming task on these planes, is taking all these covers off. And look at all these clips that we've got to do. Time we finish with this plane, all these clips are going to be completely worn out, you know. We'll have done this so many times that the actual clips will be worn out on the covers, which is just not cost-effective. It really isn't. We'll have to get some... We'll have, to, we'll have to redesign the clips or something. Different kind. Right. Put that back onto there, and then up here. Put that one onto there. Like that. Right. Now we're talking. Ooh. Well, slowly. Go slowly. Sometimes it goes very slowly. So is this plane actually going to see combat? Are we going to have, like, um, things that we've got to repair on it, like we've had on some of the other ones? Or is this one more uh, um, a practice plane that we use just around the airfield? So we've got some things that we need to work on, but we're not going to have, like, things to patch up on it. I think that's everything. Refuel, fix the coolant. Let's try it. Refuel five points, fix the problem. Five points. Save spare parts, five points. Final result, 30 points right there. So we're now on to 644 points still to go. There's a long-range fl flight planned for tomorrow, so make sure that the oil tanks are properly filled and check all the filters while you're at it. So we need to check it. Oil filters, refill the oil, and refuel the aircraft once again. So let's go and do the refueling bit first. Get that bit out of the way. And as soon as that bit's done, we can then go and do the more enjoyable parts, which is everything else. Um, right, we'll put you down there, and there we go. Right, there's that first one, and then that one there. Like that, and then that one over there. Like that, and that one over there. Like that, right. Then I can go and get the fuel. How much are we going to have to refuel this one? Are we going to be, like, really lucky for once and only have, like, to... Mm, it's about three quarters. Two thirds. So it's not quite as much as we have been doing. We've got 35 gallons into that one. Let's climb back up, which means that we're probably still going to need to put 90 gallons into the other one. That's normally what happens, isn't it? We've got to put masses and masses in the other ones. So we'll drop you down there, and uh, we're going to get you, up we go, put that one in there, back over into here, and ooh, just under half, so I reckon 70 gallons, that's what I'm thinking, 70 gallons in here, 70, 80, 86, okay, that wasn't even close. Wasn't even close with that one. 80, I said 70 and it came out at 86. I, I, I need to work on my guesstimates, I think. 
Uh, right, we'll take you, bring you over to this side. So I'm reckoning that this one here is going to be around about 86 gallons-ish. I mean, I could be wrong. Let's go and have a look. 86. That's my guess. How accurate am I? Stabbing in the dark here. Complete stabbing in the dark. What's it going to be like? 80... 90... <laughs> 93. Okay. Well, I was a little bit closer. <laughs> was a little bit closer. Right. Uh, we'll go and put you up onto there. And then we'll take that one. And we'll put you on here. Like that. Um, of course, the next thing that we got to do is... I'm filling the oil. That's, that's not the bit that I'm concerned about. The bit that I'm concerned about is finding the oil filters. Now, is there just one oil filter on each engine? There is. That should be fairly simple. Should just be a case of taking the cover off and being able to do it like that. So there's one task complete. Climb back up here. Grab you and put you away up there. Then... We'll climb back up here and we'll go to number two. There. Put you on. Put that cover on. Put that one on. Like that. And then over to this side. And to you. And put that one on there. And then put that one on there. Right, so next up, I need to get into the oil. So I know where the oil is now. I at least know where the oil is, and that's up here. So I want to go up that way. There, if I can. It's going to let me. It's going to it, it, it will let me. Oil cap. There, that's what I want to do. And then I want to come over to this oil cap here. Like that. I want to take that one. Ah, the oil filter's in here as well. Right, so we'll take that one off of there. Just like that. And we'll move over this way. There. And then we'll come up and we'll take that oil filter off. Like that. Right. So i got two oil filters. I think the two oil filters, we can clean them out. I think the game will allow us to do that. I've got one damaged oil filter. So I probably should have just checked the oil filters first. Because that's what I needed to do, was check them, rather than just take them all off completely. But, you know, that's fine. And then go to you, and then I've got one more bit there. Like that. There, so that one's repaired. So I will... I'll finish doing those in a minute. So next up, what I want to do is... I want to take the oil bowser and I want to go like this. I want to bring it over here. And we've got to go up close to the edge there. And then we've got to get down on our hands and knees. And we've got to crawl right beside the, um, the wheel. So that we can make this work. So I want to go there like that and then I pick up the hose and I come over this side I press Z so that I lie down like that and I put that one up there and then I come back out and I do that right so then we go over like that and just press and hold the mouse button seems to work best now I have been advised that I should fill this to near the max level because you know real life that would be a better thing to do however the reason I'm not doing that is because in this game you get quite severely penalised for overfilling the oil, right? If you accidentally overfill, you get severely penalised and you don't... So there's no difference between filling to the bottom line or filling to the top line. Um, I've heard people say that you should always fill to the top line. I've heard people say it should be in the middle. And I've heard people say it doesn't matter. There seems to be as many theories on that one as there are people who have engines and mess around with them. Personally, I don't actually know. Right? 
it's um, I know for a fact that you can run an engine for a considerable amount of time without doing any damage to it with very very little oil in the engine at all so no it's it's not going to if it's running low it's not going to destroy your engine I mean, it might not be it might not be the best idea to go and run your engine without very much in it, but at the same time, I don't believe it's going to destroy the engine all that fast. Uh, right, so I'll put that one over there. If you if you've got the the mark on minimum, I think it would be fine. I think it's not going to make much difference between minimum or maximum. It's just that if we overfill it, then we gain we get quite a hefty penalty, which I don't want to get. Right, so I'll come round to this side and. Come up like that, put the hose away. So then I will go. Right, probably means I can't stand up there. So come around over here, like this. Right. I can stand up there and I can put that away. So now, if I go to option two, like this, I can swing round in there. Oil filter. That's going to allow me to put that back in, like that. And it will also allow me to put the oil cap back in. And then I can run over to this side, and I should be able to do the same over here. I can just can bring it down under there like that, and then put that in there, and do that one up there as well. Right. All primary tasks complete. That should be every... Check the oil filters. That's, that's everything that we need to do. So we've got 50 points, I think, here. So that's 10. That's 15. Uh, save the spare part makes another 20, and then we get 30 points for a perfect job. 50 points in total. 2907. On we go. Just returned from a simulated chase. The plane did really good. Even the Spitfires couldn't catch up with us, but I pushed the engines to the limits. So check them just to make sure. Refill. That's going to be empty. It's going to take a while. Refill the coolant because he's burned all that off. And then we've got to check pistons and rings. That's going to take a little bit longer, especially with this end with this aircraft, because of the um, amount of time it takes for us to get into. Well, mainly because we've got two engines. That's going to be the big bit. Is you know the, the fact that we've got two engines on here that that doesn't help matters. Right, we'll do the refueling as we do normally. So we'll bring that one over to there, and then we we'll go to you like that. Switch over to that side. Undo. There's the cap, and undo that one, and there's the cap on there. I'm also going to come out here, and we're going to do two birds, one stone on this. We're going to undo that, and come down here. Coolant tank there, and we'll come over to this side, and I will go over to there. Coolant tank, and I'll do that one as well. So, we will jump down. First up, we will grab that one, and we will refuel this side. So, I'll put that one in there, and I'll refuel, re, re, refuel, re, refuel, refuel. Actually, that's not too bad. That's not as much as I thought would have been used. Although, this wasn't the long-range flight that they were talking about, was it? Um, I'm guessing that... We've kind of skipped that bit and we've gone on to another one. So we put that one over there. Then we'll run over this way and we'll grab a can of coolant. And we'll bring that back over here. Scramble up there and put that one into there. So yeah, two birds, one stone. This definitely seems like a good idea. Put that into there. And then hopefully this is just going to be the one can. We're not going to need any more than this. Ah, uh, yeah, that's absolutely perfect. Right, spot on with you. So let's just dump that can down there. Then we want to take the ladder and bring this one over here a minute. Right. Back up. Back up a bit more. There we go. Right. So we come out from under here. We grab that one. I go over there, we scramble up there, and we put that one on, and then we refill this side. So that's going to be 80 gallons. I reckon that's 80 gallons that we got in there. It's taking its time. It's taking its sweet, sweet time. 70, 80, 86. That's probably the closest we've been as far as guesstimate. Excuse me. Uh, as far as guesstimates are concerned, that's probably about the closest we've been in a very long time. 
Right, I will grab that ladder and I'll bring that one over to here. So we've got... Get back a bit. There, like that. Get the fuel going on there. Scramble up here and put you into there. And then we'll come round and do the next one of these big tanks. 86. Up. I'm going to say 85. That seemed like maybe slightly less fuel needed. So slightly more remaining in there, but I could still be wrong. What are we? 86. It was exactly the same as the last one. Didn't do that last time. Last time it could, it really threw us a curveball by making it completely different. So I want a can of coolant now, and we'll run over and we'll fill up this coolant. There we go. Right, scramble up there and put you into there. Like that, again, actually this side is taking a little bit more by the look of it than the other side. It's not all that much though. It's not a massive amount more. There we go. That's the whole can has gone in. It's just over the minimum mark. So as far as I'm concerned, that's acceptable. We're, we're, we're quite happy with that. It's, it's past the minimum mark. Um, so I think it's probably all right. Now considering the way that this plane drinks coolant... It probably would be quite prudent for us to fill the coolant to near the top mark rather than near the bottom mark because it's going to just burn it through anyway. But we're a lazy engineer today and we can't be bothered. Long story short is we just can't be bothered. Right, 35 gallons, 36 gallons in there. So that's another job done. Scramble back up here and take that and put that one onto there. That one's going to drive away. We will put all of these caps back on a minute. Like that. And I'll go over and I will put that one on there. And to go under. And we'll put that one on. Right, now we can put you like that. And we can put you like that. And we can put you like that. Right, there's one, and I can come over to this side, and I can do that one, and I can do that one there, and that one, and then I can do that one, like that, and you, and then I can do you over here. Right, so there's that bit, so now I've got to check the pistons and the rings, which means that we've essentially, we've got to strip the engine down. So I've got to take these covers off. I don't think I've got to take the propellers off, but I do need to take these covers off. So we'll work on that bit first. Well, I'll do I'll, I'll do this side. I'll I'll um I'll check everything on this side, this engine first, and then we'll go and do the other engine. Uh, so I want to do that. It's just check pistons and rings, isn't it? We don't have to do anything else. We just have to get into the pistons and rings, and the engine itself is the same as the one in the Spitfire. Uh, is it a Merlin engine? I think somebody said a Merlin. I'm sure Merlin was used. I'm sure the word Merlin was used there somewhere. Um, apparently it's the same engine. So I don't know very much about it, as you can probably tell. Uh, right, so I will bring that all like that. There. Um, take you off of there. And then I'll do the same onto that one. Uh, I'll take you off. Like that. All the way around with that one. I think I've got to take this exhaust manifold off. I think I, d I don't actually know if I've got to take that one off or not. I do need to take off the rocker mechanism. I remember having to do that bit. So we'll go through and we'll do that bit a minute. And hurry up. There, like that. And then I'm going to take the rocker mechanism off this side, but I'm not going to do it on the other side. Uh, I'm not going to take off the the manifold bit. Right, take you off of there. And then I'm going to come over here, and then I'm going to go right cylinder block. Oh, I'm still waiting for that bit. Right cylinder block assembly. Like that. Take all of that out. And then nose. All of it. Yep, that's all of it. Right, that one's still taking off the rocker mechanism. Right, that one's off. Uh, uh, I do need to take off this one. Right. That answers that question. We've got to take that one off. Then I can go... Nope. Uh, I want to go like that. I've got to wait for that one to come off. So I've got these are ready to check. 
As soon as that one comes off, I can then remove this left cylinder block. Then we'll check all of the pistons. Right. So that one's come off. Then I just do that like that. And undo all of that lot there. Right. They can come off. And then we can go into this mode. So all we need to do here is we've got three piston rings on this side. One, two, and three. Go back into check mode. And I've got on this side three piston rings and the piston itself. Again, fairly easy to deal with. One, two, and three. Wait. What have I done there? No. Piston cylinder. That one. There. Right. That's the only bit that i got to do there. And... Okay, we'll go... I don't think I can restore any of those parts. I will just have a look, but... No. Right, so I can't re restore any of them. I need the piston rings and the pistons, and we'll put that one all back together again. And then once we've put Humpty Dumpty back together again on that side, then we can go and take Humpty Dumpty apart on the other side. So I'll go back over here. Uh, we go into option two now, and we'll put... Piston rings on there like that, and we'll put the piston cylinder on there like that, and also the rings on there like that. Cylinder block can go back on. Right, I can get all of these. Basically, just keep going over it with the mouse, and eventually everything all gets... Uh, you, you get it all into the right place. Right. And all of that lot. There, like that. And then... And then on there. Right, so there's that bit, and then I can come over to here, and I can put the exhaust manifold back on. Has something gone wrong there? I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, maybe it's not something gone wrong. Might just be something else. Right, so then I can put that bit onto there. I can put that cover on. Like that. And then up over here. Put all of that on. I can't... Like, the, the bolts are being done up faster than I can put the orders in. Which is actually pretty impressive. Right? Because I am able to mouse over them pretty quickly. But it's, it's quite impressive just how fast now we're able to do them up. Compared to when we started, it's definitely made a significant difference. Right, so we've got that one there all done up. I've got a bolt that's in bad condition there. There's one bolt that's in bad... It wouldn't let... It didn't give me an option for replacing it, though, so I'm going to assume that it's not really anything to concern ourselves with at the moment, at least. Let's put the rocker cover on. Like that. There. Right, what are you... Hmm. Quite sure why it's not doing everything properly. It does seem to be putting everything back. It's done them up now. Right, it's, it's done its little flashy thingy, so I'm going to assume that it's alright. And I'll put those... Back on there, and then we can do that down there. Hit you up that side. And all the way around here. There, and you. Right, so now all we've got to do is this on the other engine. And it's really, really easy. We know what we got to do. It might be that there's... I'm really sorry, folks, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to interrupt things there as it's time for us to head back to the barracks and get some tea. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.